Hello to all the Linux Deck viewers out there and in this video we will be discussing what different font styles, what different font options and I specifically call it what different font luxuries we have in Microsoft Word and we'll also be looking into some paragraphing styles. See when you're dealing with text the two major objectives that you need to know are how you can write your text what are the different font options and what are the basic paragraphing styles I need to follow. So we'll be covering some of these in this particular video. I have already written down some text and let me read it out for you. The very first line says that this video will show different font options and paragraphing styles. So uh, I have already written down this line. I have just copied the similar text and placed it uh, in a different format. What is lesson is actually my heading. This video will show different text options and paragraphing styles. So this is how you can interchange your text by changing style within your text. Uh, I'll show you how. So let's start. So the very first thing that you have within your font ribbon is the text option that are available. I'll click on this drop down menu and I'll have a bulk list available to me. I can choose any of these or I also have the luxury or the convenience to actually import some text styles. So if I would like to use this particular style, I, I can use that. Verdana is also available. So I'll just go with this one. Now, in order to increase the font size, you need to click on this drop down menu and you can see that the text was selected. So as I'm increasing the font size, you can see the change in display on your screen, which is wonderful. So let's keep it 22. The other way to either increase or decrease your font style is just beside this particular box. You can see the arrow on this A. If it's uh, moving upwards or that it's if it's directing upwards, it means that it will increase the font style like you can see here and the next arrow is actually pointed downward so it will decrease the font style wonderful so these are the text and the text style options now I can either select a bold style let me click on this B it will sh show you a bold style let's uncheck this the second option we have is an italic so italic means it the text will actually be tilted a bit now we have uh, the underline option and within the underline options you have more functions. Let me click on this drop down menu. See uh, once you have checked this particular button it will ask you which type of underline you would like to have or you if you would like to change the color of your line. See I, if I am selecting this brown color you can see the change in display on your screen. So if I'm selecting this yellow, you can see the change, the blue, you can see the change and I can choose any of these styles. And also if I'll click on this more underlines, you can see a new window will pop up and I'll have more options. So these are the underline styles and I can select any of these styles and I can also change the font color and uh, the font style or the size. And I can also change the underline color as well. These are all the options that can be selected via this underline. So if you are writing a heading or you have a word in between like for example I have written the word font in caps and just to make it much more readable I will give it a strike through. So uh, this function is basically used when you're uh, reviewing a document and uh, if you're working for a research company or market research firm or if you're a student or if you are a teacher, this option will work uh, uh, big for you. So let me uncheck this. Now, most of us have definitely faced uh, difficulties writing x square or maybe if we are dealing with chemistry so we have faced difficulty writing h2o so let me start writing h2o h2o but this is not how h2o is written two should be right beneath h for this particular feature 
Microsoft Word gives us these two feasibilities. There are different functionalities which we'll be discussing in our upcoming lectures, but these are two basic functions. The first one is called a superscript. See, if I'll click on the superscript, this two will go upwards. And if I'll select the subscript, it will become a H2O, which is the formula of water. Wonderful. So this is how you can actually solve your problem. Similarly, if I have an equation which is x square plus 2ab plus b square, but this doesn't look like in a square currently. But what we can do is we'll select this two, we'll click on the superscript and it will become in a square. So similarly, I'll click on this two and click on the superscript and it will become in a square. So now the subscript and superscript will work wonders for us. Now let's go and see what are the other options. This option will actually enhance your text by adding some effects. So let's select this, this, and I'll click on this drop down menu. Either you can change it to one of these available styles, as you can see the preview on my background, or you can add a shadow within your text. For example, you can see that the shadow is there, the inner shadow, the outer shadow. You can also add some reflections to your text. See uh, on my background, you can see the reflections. Similarly, you can make your text glow as well. And these are the glowing colors. We'll also discuss these features in detail when we'll go further. But this is just the basic introduction of all these features. So uh, you can always add some style your, to your text. And now, if you have some text within your complete document, which you would like to highlight, you can select this particular option. Click on this drop down menu in order to select the color which you would like to highlight. And uh, these are all the available colors and I can highlight my text depending on the requirement. Now, the next option is the text color or the font color. I can change the font color depending on my requirements. So this is all available within your hands. Now, this option will actually clear all the formatting that you have uh, already done. So for example, currently I've changed the color of this particular text and let me add some shadow to it or maybe reflect glow. See, I have added a glow to this and change the color. When I'll click on this particular button, see what happens. All formatting, whatever it was, no matter if it was the font size, the font style, the font type, the shadow, the highlighting, everything will actually disappear and your text will become or come over to the standard format. So this is actually the standard format that we have in Microsoft Word. You can always press Ctrl Z and it will again come back to its uh, last stage. Now these are all the font options and for complete list you need to click on this button so that uh, this window pops up. Uh, with these superscript and subscript you also have some small caps and all caps option. You can also go to this advanced tab and you can select scaling spacing. We will look into these features in detail when we will move further. Now let's just explore some of the paragraphing options as well. So uh, currently the paragraph is actually left aligned as you can see we have four different options. You can either align it left, you can align it in the middle of uh, your document. Let me click here. See it is now on the center. You can start from the right if you want. Right I have currently selected it and the last option actually says that uh, if you will click it the option will actually justify the spacing within different words. So now the spacing within each word is justified. I'll just change it to left align. Now, as you can see that I have written down these two options as list. So for list, we have bulleting options. The bulleting option is available within paragraph command and in home ribbon. So when you click on this drop down menu, you'll have all these bulleting options. See, whenever I am just mouse hovering on any of these options, you can see the change on the text I have selected. See, uh, it's changing depending on my selection. Similarly, I can bullet it by numbering as well. So these are the numbering options. The roaming letters are also available. Alphabets are also available and these are available in both cases. The upper case and the lower case. 
and lastly you can also use different list styles uh, which are mixed together in between these two options so all these options are available within paragraphing currently i'll just be using this simple bulleting style now if you have already written a lot of text in your document currently we have just written a couple of lines in fact we have just written 25 words but just imagine if you have written 2500 words and now you think that the text should be in different case so we have three case options the lower case the upper case or the sentence case so let me explain you what are these cases i've selected the video and these are the case options when you'll click here on this drop down you'll these are the different case options the first one is that we'll be discussing here is upper case upper case means all these letters will be converted to upper letter case see video is now in upper case when i'll select lower case all letters will be in lower case sentence case means that the first letter will be in caps and rest of the letters will be in lower case like this as now currently it is not uh, the very first word of the of the sentence so this is the sentence case now if you would like to use some style for example if you would like to use a toggle case which means uh, an alternate uh, lower and upper case or an upper case followed by a lo lower case then an upper case followed by a lower case you can use this toggle case so it will actually change the complete paragraph in a toggle case see the first letter is small then we have capital letters then we have small letters in capital letters so it is be toggling between these two cases or it is shifting between these two cases the next type we have is capitalize each word see capitalize each word means that each letter or the first letter of each word will become caps like in this way so currently uh, you can uh, let me convert it to lowercase then it will be much more easier for you to understand or in sentence case maybe now let me convert it now you can see that each uh, word will have first letter as capital so this is how you deal with cases so uh, no matter you if you have written thousand words 2500 words or maybe 25,000 words you can even do it after writing the document so don't worry if you have already written a document you have this option available in your hand so these are the different options which we have actually discussed and uh, please do practice all these options because uh, we'll be going further into professional Microsoft Word in our upcoming lectures thanks for watching this video and make sure that you have hit the bell icon on our YouTube channel which is LearnerDAC stay tuned and uh, let's meet again.